The minister was assassinated that night. The location where he was murdered remains in contention. According to the report of the Gore Sungu led parliamentary select committee that investigated Oko's killing, it was done in Nakuru State House as per what the former special branch police inspector informed the committee. He said Oko was delivered in State House when he had been tortured already. He was kneeling down and in the process of kneeling down, you remember he had a broken leg, so it is so painful. But he was kneeling down, the water was on his left side, and the Moi was in front of him. So the water was telling Ouko to accept, to confess that he was planning to, over he was undermining the president, the word is undermining, and that he was sorry, and uh, he was apologizing, and was to say that uh, he will never do that again. Uh, he told the president that uh, I, can, I am a sincere friend and I can never want anything bad to you. Then the word pretended. It is a, a fake annoyance. Uh, he pretended to be annoyed, took out a pistol, shot Uko from this side, and Uko died. And then uh, Biwot apologized, immediately Biwot apologized to the president and said, Mze, I'm just sorry, uh, I'm just sorry I was overtaken by emotions.